Hello everyone and welcome back to Foundation. It's been a while that we have had the last episode. So thank you for tuning in again. I really hope you guys are going to enjoy this one. And if you are just clicking in for the first time, this is a very cool medieval little city builder. However, it's very organic and very cool. So yeah, you know, if you want to see this and if this, uh, this is your type of game, stick with me. We're going to start brand new because unfortunately I cannot load any of my old save files because that was in the pre 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 preview version of the game. But now we're going to start a new map and we're trying to go again for the best possible thing we can do. And we are going to take the uh, flo Flovial, <laughs> Flovial, um, Fluvial, I have no idea how to pronounce that one to be honest, um, in here. And we're just going to see if we can this time arrange a little town that reaches up to a thousand inhabitants or little townsmen. I really do hope we can do this this time um, and therefore we are going to try our best in doing this. I want, I think because you know the, the problem is that you always need to have your city center located in a very clever position um, and this time I'm going to start in here. I'm going to put the city center quite in there. I want to have this this bit area here like a very huge area for the people to you know just create themselves and then we will put um stuff that we need like you know farms and stuff whenever we need it and you know just putting it in um we do have some stone in here we do have some berries in here we've got all that kind of stuff this is kind of closer to each other won't make sense maybe for the first one but since the first one takes a bit longer we're just going to put this in here so we've got more space. Okay, so I'm going to pause the game. Now you have to build you, you get some little tips and tricks here to the left hand side. They completely reworked the entire menu, which I love. Now you have the actions down here. There is anything in, if there's anything happening, it's put in here. You have the quests in here, which is for example now build a village center. You have some locks in here, which is uh, cool because that kind of always locks down what has happened. And then you, you get some, some info about here. If you get any warnings, they are also pretty important because if any kind of inhabitants or some of your villages are stuck somewhere because sometimes since you can build completely free sometimes they are stuck in some areas um it kind of is a little bit of a pain you know to find that out but this helps you and then you have some system uh things if there's anything r running wrong it kind of tells you and then just click that again it's gone cool but also you can move all of your menus in this game if you want to have this to another area the only thing is the notification still stays there but since it's always this is kind of a weird thing it always opens the right Right hand side so it doesn't matter you know it doesn't make any sense to put it here but it's kind of cool you can you can move them around which i i think is a cool bit but next time hopefully they can add something to make it open to the other side now you have the city center and this is forever your city center there's nothing you can do about this um i'm gonna put this here i'm gonna start the construction and then you will get your first villagers there you go you have uh, i think eight villages you're starting with now, before we can do anything um, this time, because that's brand new, you have to build a builder's workshop. Now, what does this builder's workshop do? It's pretty much um, where all of your builders for houses and all kind of builds you do um, have their main job center, so to say. This is where they go. Um, so you want to always keep that in the center of an area you're building in. Once you're moving into another area, I highly recommend to put another builder's workshop down because they will always come back to this building before they do anything else. So you're going to put this here. Now you have done this, you can add three people, which we will do. Now three of our first people um, are doing this. Now, as I like to do it quite often, we need to quickly unpause the game so um, that we kind of fulfill this quickly uh, because otherwise this is kind of a problem. Now we should get this uh, quickly. There you go. Pause the game again. The reason why I'm pausing that is I don't want to lose any money or time or whatnot. So I'm just going to make sure that we have this. Now, you have had a few unlocker bolts over here. I'm just going to pause this again just for high speed. Um, we will need we will definitely need a lumber camp first because we need some some wood. I'm gonna put this quite over here, I guess. Is this the? Oh, we do also have some stuff here, you know. I, I'm I'm gonna keep this fairly close to here so that they don't have that many uh, distances distances to go because you have to keep the distance short between their job and where they live later on. Um, we want to give them a well as well because they need water to fill their own requirements. And I'm gonna put this one just about here because that's kind of the area which it covers. As you've seen, the, the green ring shows you. I'm gonna make this uh, put in here. Now we will also put down a stone cutter camp, which is going to be down here because that's where the stone is. So we're gonna start the construction here. And we are also going to have a, um, uh, basically a, f a sawmill already because we will need these kind of things um, quite soon. 
Uh, this is gonna create some planks. And these little green arrows you can see on the building, there you go, these little green things, they show you where the people go in. This is what I was just about to say. This is where the people can get stuck. So if you move this in here, for example, this green area is blocked. Now you wanna put these things quite close still to the um, lock cam or like the forester cam, wow, well, lumber cam, that's, that's the wording I was looking for. Now this is basically all we've done. The only thing we still need is a gathering hut. The reason is we need food, right? So I'm gonna put this one just over here and start this. Now let's quickly put on play because that is what we need to do now. Um, they will build and we have to assign a new builder. We've done that, so we have fulfilled the quest. Um, and now they will just build all this kind of stuff. And since I do know the drill already, you can see that there's a lot more stuff now available. See, in the drop down, you can, you can kind of get a lot of different things. Now, what we will need as well is a market because we need to sell goods, okay? So we're gonna put the, the first market is gonna be put next to this well. And we're just going to put down, first of all, one market stall. And this is only for selling food, right? So we're gonna put this here. And just gonna quickly start building because this one is quite important so that our people can buy food from us and we will get money for that. This is the first thing we need to make sure. Now this is done. We can have, uh, assign already one worker here because that's the first thing you're gonna do. Now four of our people are employed, the others are not. Um, and now you can see they're telling me there is no extraction zone uh, put in. So this is the green area. You can you just increase the size with your mouse wheel and holding down control. And you're just going to you say I'm just you can, you know, just harvest everything that is in this area. I don't care too much. So there you go. Um, I've painted that. I get some resources for that. This is good. Now, as we as we are building, I want to have this thing built first. And this is what I'm doing. I'm just gonna prioritize this here. And now they are focusing on building this thing first. The main reason why I'm doing this is we need food first. We, we can kind of afford to have no planks at this point in time. And afterwards, I wanted them to build. Uh, the market stall because that brings us money and we can put some people in there to work. Now for the time being I'm going to assign another one to cut the um, wood over here. I think it's this one done as well. Yeah we can assign one more person. Now one thing that is very important you can see we only have two people unemployed at this point in time okay. So I need one more person now for the market stall and I will need one more person at least for the gathering hut even though I, I Actually, I would need two. So at a certain point, when we have enough wood, I'm going to put uh, one of the wood choppers or uh, the timber man, um, <laughs> the wood cutter actually is the wording they use in here, um, to work as a gatherer or as a, how they're called, um, I think it's, I'm not even sure how exactly they are called to be honest. But anyways, you will see in a bit, once this is built, we are going to assign this uh, person and that should be good. Okay, it's nearly done. Come on, just do the, do the final bits. Here, put some last nails in. There you go. And then we have got Oswald, and Oswald is a forager now. Okay, one of one of uh, one of three possible ones. And this is kind of the cool bit about this as well. Um, you can see there are like one out of three, so you know this is pretty cool now, um, because this is uh, you have a request. Stock your resources. One hundred coins. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, how do I do this actually? Do I, stock is new for me. So build a market complete, produce, produce okay, extraction zone is all done. There's no quest, I think I did it already. I succeeded because, oh, whatever. So, okay, so this is done as well. Now I need to say them what kind of goods they should be selling. So they are selling berries, obviously. And I'm gonna, uh, you know, assign grace. You can see there can only be one market tender. Now this is all done and our little area is start to flourish and build itself up. Now this is, um, the very important bit is that everyone has a job now, okay? So there's no one unemployed. They're all not so happy because some of their requirements are not fulfilled. Um, and you can see from the job list over here, so there's also um, a potential job list, which is the little hammer down here. So workplace list, you can see three out of three builders are assigned, which is great. We've got one out of one's food stall, we've got uh, one out of three foragers, and we've got two woodcutters and one out of five miners. So that's kind of a bad thing, honestly, because we need more. But you, you could do one thing now. If you think you have enough builders for the moment being, because you know you don't need that many builders now since everything is built, you can actually unemploy one here. And then you could go for the gathering hut and say, oh well, just assign another one and we have two, mon two people gathering. 
Beware though that they will level up after a time, okay? So people get a new level. You can see there is already built a level two, so they will become more efficient in building. So if you swap them out all the time, it's not so helpful because they will have a lower level. Sometimes it helps, but it, makes, it kind of makes sense to keep them to the same job as much as you can. Now, as you can see, there is no extraction zone now for us for living because this is the next thing they will ask for. They will ask for living, which means they need some houses. We are going to have this in a bit. And you can also see that we are at minus four at the moment. If you click on the on the income and stuff, you will definitely see, um, so it's not the resource panel, where was it again? Um, uh, where was that? I think, I forgot again which, which menu that was. Somewhere in here, I got a menu that helps me was that up here? Oh, there you go. This is the budget menu. So you can see there is the income. We are at the moment having an income of nine gold. Um, and we are having, actually, we have no income at the moment, to be honest. Um, but you have an expense cost of 11. And if you hold your mouse over here, you can see where exactly you have the maintenance cost coming from. Because all of the buildings cost maintenance so that they go, don't go broke down or whatnot. Um, and at the moment, you can see there is Grace. And uh, she's basically having that, but she's not selling anything, right? The reason why she's not is because we need a granary. And we're going to put this one right over here. Uh, I don't know where I can enter. I'm just gonna put this here, okay? I'm gonna start, start the construction of that one. And we will also, in order to have everything, um, we will also, I oh know actually we don't have it yet. We do need to make like a storage building soon. So this is where you can trade. But at this point in time, we've done all of that now. Um, and yeah, they're building this pretty quickly now, which is pretty important. They're bringing some stone and then it should be done. Uh, we've got zero stone though. I mean, it's like nothing, I guess. One stone, two stone. Can you be quicker with stone? Show someone delivering some stone, please. Anyways, that, that'll take some seconds now until this is done because then you have to assign someone here. And yeah, so, you know, that's, that's kind of the drill. I'm just gonna unassign some person more at this point in time. And then also just going to make sure that we have one more assigned for the time being. I'm going to change this in a bit again, um, simply because that'll help us to be a bit quicker because we have to have this building first so that they can get the resources from over here from the berries and just bring them in here to the granary. And then from the granary, the transporter is bringing that over to our market stall and then she's going to have this in here and then she can sell this because she's not actually going to get here. I could though, I think I could assign someone just being a transporter though. Yeah, and then this would work from itself, I guess. I'm not like super sure if that works out of nowhere. I'm just like, let's see what happens. We can already put one woodcutter as a transporter. And then we will see if the transporter is doing what he is supposed to be doing. And this is transporting some goods from here to here. I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure they don't. They need the granary as kind of the target location to do that kind of stuff, which in a bit will be built. Hopefully it will. How many do you have? Like three, four stones. Okay, now we do have enough stones. And then hopefully we can still have immigration once this is done and they sell the goods. This should work. Now, can you be building that a bit quicker now. This is going to take ages. Way too long. Way too long here. Hello. Just build that one. Come on. And also where's the music gone? It's too boring. Otherwise I need to I need to sing, you know. Um, also let me just check out quickly the decoration, fantasy decorations. Okay, so I put this down in the near with all them. Do they cost actually? Fantasy de various fantasy medieval themed decorations. Uh, decorations called building set nature deck. Okay, I'm not gonna look into this right now. I'm gonna look into this later. Great. Now we can say, oh, Catherine is already assigned. Okay, now you just go in here and say berries. Okay, now I've done that. The quest is complete. And now, once this is done, she can see she's bringing the berries over, you know, and then now she's gonna get the berries and bring them back to the market stall. And then she will be able to sell this. Okay, so this is the next thing happening. Um, I got some money out of this and you can see increase your population uh, by maximizing immigration probability, assign a job to all your villagers. Yes, raise the happiness of 100. This will happen as soon as she's going to sell now. There you go. People are going to buy our stuff and then they will be super happy in a bit. As soon as everyone has purchased some uh, wonderful stuff, they will be happy ever after and we can start our little village to grow. And this will be the most important thing of all. We need to grow 
steadily. That is the most important bit. That means this is the key number. We have to keep this above 90. So this is where we maximize the immigration. Now this has been done, which is very cool. And you can see two people were passing by and two people decided to join our village. That means two more people that'll work for us, which is great. Can we also finally, no, we cannot yet do this, but I think it's all, you know, time passing by. And they will, I don't, I think they come from over there somewhere. They will just run across the whole map now until they are with us. I'm not like sure where exactly. They, they must have eagle eyes, guys, because they just passing by means they're like uh, one, 0.5 thousand kilometers away and they can spot the village and they just come to us. There you go. There's someone coming. I think there's both of them. Right. We're just like <laughs> doing a little parade here. Anyways, they join our village. Now they will be here coming to the center and then boom, there you go. People arrived. They just first of all get some food and yeah, blah, blah, blah. We have the settlement. Now we have a stuff, you know, coming in. Lot Manor, house, rustic church. Very nice, we can do this all, we can have a residential zone, which is important. Um, but now it's very important that we need to grow this all, okay? So the first bit is we need to make sure that we have enough resources all over the place. We could now employ someone here finally, and we've got one more person to assign. And since we will need a lot of wood, we will, you know, assign another woodcutter. You can see I can click now, but there's no one else available. But... We promise our people to get some residential stuff, okay? So one thing that is important, where the workplaces is, people don't want to settle down, okay? So this is an area where they don't want to settle down. You've got the marketplace over here, which is a probability where they want to live. Now, we're going to paint all this area green here, you know? They should definitely live down here at the beachside. I'm just going to follow that line. So this is exactly where they should live. And if I remember correctly, um, we should be able to purchase, no, we, I think at some point we will get one territory for free. I don't know when exactly that will happen, but it's going to happen soon, I guess. And now we have to maximize the probability that people come. You can 60% of the people are happy because they will need houses now first. Um, and also this will take a little bit of a while, but you know, as soon as this is done, you can see it's 60. No one is coming to join our visit now, uh, our village now because this is too low. It'll you know, increase over time now, once everyone has built their houses, um, it's going to happen. You can see they just settled down. One thing I need to do, we have put the well, oops, um, the first well was put here. So if I zoom out, this is where the well is going. It's not that much. So I'm going to put another one down just here and start the building. And also because I'm a good guy, you know, I'm going to put another one down here. And another one down right next here. It might be a lot too many of those, but it's quite important. And for the moment being, I will only have this one marketplace, but we will need another one down here in the future because that's kind of what they need from us, you know. And uh, since my two builders, uh, or actually my one builder, he's going to make this now for us. Hopefully, I guess. <laughs> Um, and starting to, to grow that village. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna make a little cut and I'll talk to you in a few minutes more with a bit of progress. All right, we are back and we increased the uh, amount of people quite dramatically in the last couple of minutes. Actually, it was originally like really only 10 minutes and a minute plus, like 11 minutes um, that I played. Uh, the minute plus was from because I failed at <laughs> just recording and I noticed this like a, mi a minute in that I didn't hit record. But I was just, you know, lovely talking to my computer. You know, my computer enjoyed it, but <laughs> I just I just figured that no one else will enjoy that later on because I didn't record. Anyways, we're back and I can quickly explain what I did. Now, you can see there's a lot manner I put down here, which mostly its function is to have great hall so that people like th there is this envoy coming uh, across and giving us some quests where you can get some money and stuff and some you know cool stuff from and then one treasury so we have a bit more than 500 so in in terms of having 500 is important to get some more territories one territory though we got for free um which was down to the fact that we did one more quest which was really happy uh, and and uh, i was really happy about and also which is good and we got a lot of people from passing by um that stopped for us 
last year. Now, one thing I did is maybe a very unpopular decision as for the beginning, because many people would have potentially taken this one over here with um, some more stone and some more berries right next to the corner. But I want to enlarge the village quite quickly so we have enough living space for the people. And in this center, I'm planning to have some of the first uh, bigger uh, kind of farms and stuff, you know, that we kind of have like a circular area here with some farms in the middle and then all the kind of stuff to the outsides. And therefore, I'm going to put like a second living area over here. So now the first thing is going to be I'm going to employ Thomas and Thomas is bringing some stuff here. There's no one else to, uh, available right now. But, you know, as soon as more people come, I will now employ the next people. A person will be working here. So they the people that are going for living, they have some more, you know, uh, potential to go here. You can see it's getting a lot more green. It's even more green already than in this area is uh, simply because there's no industry and you know this could be better as soon as I put like a marketplace down here but this is going to happen as soon as I'm expanding in this direction. I'm taking this well over here and put in like a huge market space around and I'm going to delete that one over here. But this is you know for later I guess. So yeah, everything we need in this area is done. Now we could also already put down some slots down here if we need, but you know, at this point in time, we really don't need to focus on that because there are not enough people for us to work. Um, as you can see down here, everyone has a work, you know, there's no one unemployed, but we still have loads of uh, jobs available. This is also why they should be uh, nearly 90 happiness quite soon. Um, I think there's nothing really they're missing out on right now. It's just like a little bit of a waiting game. Um, they did construct all they needed to construct. We have all the wells available for them. Uh, we have everything we need. And they can see the next uh, kind of a little wave of persons coming. I'm just not sure why it's only one though. Uh, because surely 88% should be enough for them to join the village. I'm like really not sure why they wouldn't. Um, I don't know how to make their lives better. I think we did everything we could at this point in time. Oh, my, actually, no. We can we can give them, like, a little church already. Now, I think I'm going to put the church right here because that is the space we need. And then this can be, like, a nice center for both sides, you know. Actually, talking of which, we can turn it that way so they can both go in. And this is the city center anyways. So she's going to put this here. Just gonna give this like a nice little thing in the middle. Just gonna take one tower here. Yeah, like that, I guess. Just raise this tower quite a bit. And you know, give this no no no. Can you just just be careful, Rudy? Be careful. There you go. Move that in nicely. And then you're just gonna have like a cross over here. And then I think that should be enough for the beginning. How many people can go in here? Is there like a size 20 so that means okay we, we need to go a little bit bigger already because that makes like this just kind of is only good for like a few seconds i guess so you know just taking you know, can i just rotate a little bit yeah there you go wait outside turret wait oh this is okay well, never mind then we just put that here and the other one goes here and then uh 25 start construction. I mean, we will add some stuff anyways later, but yeah, let's say this is the priority right now Do we have everything we need? I think tools will be the biggest issue here Yeah, no, we won't have enough tools uh, That should not to be too big of an issue because we will now get some trade in and To do this we need to trade routes trading and now we just allow tools and then buy just like buy it until inventory reaches the value. Just need to increase the value here because I want to buy uh, a lot of stuff and this is what we are going to do. I want to do the most I can. I've got enough money right now, you know, put this to 60 uh, just to make sure that they will bring this. One person is going to join our village too. Um, you know, this is the reason why we need to do this. Promotion is available. I think we're just doing that, promote all. There you go, money is gone for the moment, but the thing is, the more I have, the earlier I can you know, um, get in a Fisher hat, for example, and we are missing out on six of that, but it should be fine in a bit. Uh, you can see we have a loads more stuff available now. Um, new tier of unlockables, is that just available to us? Oh, you can see there is a lot more we can do here, but you know, not at the moment. There's some new person joining the city, which I love. By the way, just quickly, I ah, know, I managed to squeeze a gap in here, just going to 
you know, make it a little bit bigger because that is kind of where the charge should sit. Um, and we've a lot of people that are upgrading their houses right now. The, uh, I don't know if this was the best idea, especially in terms of happiness. <laughs> Potentially wasn't a bad idea ever. Um, we need more builders. Uh, I'm going to build another builder's workshop. I'm just going to be right next to it. Just going to here, start and apply to more people just for the moment. I'm going to change this soon, but so they will help them. We don't have enough stone. We don't have enough planks. This is a bit of a nightmare. I shouldn't have upgraded them all already. But it's okay. I mean, we need to wait for the trader anyways until we do it. There is someone, yeah, there's someone employed. That's good. I think that is the trader back there, right? Why is this trader going over there? You can you just come to the other side? Cause sell me some sell me some tools. That'd be good. Because we need tools. Come on. Here's that other trading center. Just come over. Here you go. Just go for the granary. Go here. Booyah. There you go. The tools. Awesome. That's what we need. Oh god, this is going to take a little bit of a, a ditch, a little bit of a dent we will have. Look at that. We also have like a big minus right now because of trade, obviously. Um, but we'll also be at, at zero, which is no big deal at all, guys. It's just not a big deal whatsoever. Um, I'm going to sell, solve this issue as soon as this is built. The cool bit about this game is once you don't have any more money, it's not like you can't do anything. As as long as you have planned things and already bought and built them, it's all fine. So as soon as this church will be built, now we have all the resources and it's going to be built in a second. Um, and they will be up to their houses again. The people will be 100% happy. They will start to purchase stuff again. Um, and therefore it's going to be all better. As you can see money is coming in again. It's the, the minus is just down to the trading. At this point in time, you can see we are earning more than the costs. So it's 32 plus while we have 23 cost, which is good. Um, and it, it's going to earn us some more money, but it's going to be a lot better as soon as they're more happy. You can see they are just lacking the building. To be honest though, I would love them to change this because as soon as you upgrade a house, it should basically not count as not having a house. I mean, I, I get it if it's taking that long until they can upgrade, but maybe, I don't know, if we can have some empty houses they can live in for the time being. I don't know. It's just like, sometimes it feels weird because an upgrade should be like a positive thing. I mean, I, mean, I know I, I should just kind of challenge myself a bit more to not upgrade them all at once, but I don't know. I'm just used to it. So we have one more person. Uh, you know what I do? I, I will just assign this person, Carl. Uh, a monk is approaching my village. Oh my lord! Can you just work for me? Uh, can I? Can I just get you in? What? What is? What is going to happen? I've never had a monk visiting my village. Hello. What are you doing, mate? I just want to. Are you? Or are you just convincing people to leave the village? I don't know. I just have some bad knowledge about this from other games. <laughs> just bad experience. Okay. So what, what what's happening with the monk? What what is the monk doing? Yeah, he's he's nearly there. Just just come and visit me. I don't know. I guess I don't have a monastery for you though. But if they just randomly come by, I guess, and and at some point we will build a monastery. Uh, that would be cool, I guess. I, you know. Uh, by the way, by the way, I just unlocked a lot more other stuff. But you know, we're just not not going to use that now. So there's the monk. Where's it going? Is it coming here to the manor? Yes. It's, oh, it's requesting an audience. Oh, I, oh. I, um. It's gonna be giving me, wait. I need to see. I need this. I need labor, okay? So I'm gonna say, I'm assisting the people, right? I need labor. Give me, there you go. And, well, they're all building right now. I would love to see the planks being produced a bit quicker. Do we have anyone else I can assign? Not really, though. How long do I have time? I mean, quest should be in here. 59 days. I think, you know, let them build their stuff. And as soon as this is done, we can just quickly stockpile them. And that should be fine. Now, this building is also nearly done. There's one person coming. Look, it's all getting better again. Now they're lacking building, I guess. But yeah, I mean, that should be fine. It should be fine. Just like, you know, upgrade your houses. It's just like going to be like a super long house. Or did they just put this just... That is super inconvenient. They must be incredible neighbors. Even though I like this from the style, it's super inconvenient for them, at least. I mean, I, I couldn't care less, but you know. All of them have houses. Is there any house that needs to be upgraded? Whatsoever. Not really, though. I think they're all upgraded. So, yeah, back to happiness level. Awesome. 
you can see actually how this is going down the value like the negative impact value um, so you can actually see that it's 95 percent right now 94 okay but it's going down um 95 96 that's all good 98 we nearly at 100 percent again which is which is awesome so now one more villager arrived and you can see we, we have a lot of jobs available i'm gonna add some trees here oak and uh, that's the last one we have so this this person can start working now i think we do have some unemployed people don't we how many a uh, one okay we got one one unemployed person uh there's someone working in here i'm just gonna get some more foragers i guess that should be fine we have a lot of builders now not sure if we need them still because there is so many builders right now we just uh i guess i'm gonna scrap those two and they should be foraging this as well. Here you go. Um, the church has noticed your dedication to going to... Okay, awesome. Yeah, it's it's done. And I think we have like 21 people in. And there can be 25 in. Like, we have to already edit this thing very soon. And you know what? I, I think we're just going to start doing this right now. Because I will otherwise run into some some issues. Um, can we just, like, is this the middle? Yeah, it is. Now, I'm just gonna increase the height. Wow, that this kind of tiny bit here, you know. Um, is this going to give, okay, so how much, 20 size, no size, no size, no size. Is this giving size? Bell tower. It's barely giving any size. I mean, this is giving 20. That's the, that's the best we can get, you know. Two more people coming in. Uh, we can give it another door if we want. I'm just gonna give it a small door. It looks a bit better, I guess. Uh, it's outside. <laughs> kind of give these. Okay, let's put this down here. I'm just gonna give another bell tower, I guess, just in the middle. And you know, let's let's use the other one then. Outside territory. I no, I don't care. Let me just put this right in the middle. And uh, no. I need to, yeah. Okay, can I first raise this tower a little bit? And then, there you go, raise it. And I'm just gonna move that in the middle. There you go, wait, no, no, I just need to click. Is that like somewhat in the middle? That's pretty, that's pretty accurate. I cannot start, no, no, I can start, there you go. Oh, 10 gold, gold was missing. Why are you still having so much minus? Oh, because we're just trading. Trading like a lot of our tools. You can see reforestation reforestation is already happening. Uh, we can also assign some more plank deliverer guys. So how much time is left for the for the quest? 48 days. Um they're building that, right? Just said they start building this. Um let me just quickly stockpile our planks. And that should go quick, I guess. And then we can just quickly deliver the stuff um, because then that quest is done. We do get the unlock and we can we can do a Fisher Hunt. Let's call this day because that is already pretty dope start to the series. And then, yeah, next thing, next episode will be a huge update. I'm like opting already to fill in that entire area here. You know, just maybe doing a little bit of a speed build. Maybe, I don't know, however I'm doing it because it, it kind of is really time consuming so speed build is even like super crazy i don't know if i get it done and can hold my camera pretty stable i might do it but you know you never know okay 35 we're just waiting for that now and then we call it a day it's long enough of an episode for for the first episode and just you know also i, I don't expect too many people uh, watching that like for the first thing but you know i just enjoy this game so much this is the reason why i'm getting back to it every now and then it's just so relaxed and sometimes i just enjoy playing that game to be honest and um, promotion is available i'm not using that right now oh, how many how many the serves do i have 18 oh i do need to use that at least two i can't 20 i don't even have money is it because i kind of buy so much because honestly though i i should have a better income you know, maybe, maybe for the trade, I'm gonna say no for the moment. <laughs> just, just for the moment, okay. Just to make sure I, you know, I, I know how to get some more money. Maybe in the future, okay. So fifty one. Do we get some money for that as well for the quest? Hey, 
Oh, wait, no, I know. I know, I know, I know. I need to I need to bring them in here in order to have them. So there you go. Please make sure to have them all. Just bring them all in here. Stock maximum. Yes, do it. William, you can do it. Uh, do we have unemployed people? Uh, wait, that's the... Two unemployed people. What is open? We still have the builder's workshop. We don't need this right now. Grand new one is fine. Stone... Yeah, that can be one more stone cutter. And... Um, well, let's do two. That's good. There you go. Let's say, okay. Now we can stop the stockpiling here. That should be fine. Uh, there you go. And you can you can you can start building. There's also coming the money back in, which which is good. Uh, what was it again? What one? I was one thing I wanted to do. Um, oh yeah, how about? No, I needed to promote. Exactly, that's, that's the one thing I wanted. It's not available anymore. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Anyways, guys, this is it for the first episode. I really do hope you enjoyed the first episode. If you did enjoy, make sure to like. And, you know, the best thing to help out is by commenting as well to just get the interaction done. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you played this game already, if you have seen it for the first time or not. Um, just let me know. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Stay safe, everyone. And I talk to you in the next one.